Hello, this is Artifact 10, Standard 5.3, Criterion 18, Design a Digital Learning Environment. So this is my digital learning environment. The digital learning environments, majority of the time, my students can access it from their learning management system, which we use uh, my e-class. A lot of people also say D2L. It kind of, the term is kind of used interchangeably, but this is what we use as our learning management system. So this is our landing page, and this is obviously the view for me. So that's why you kind of see the edits. Um, but this is the Kanahita Elementary landing page, and this is my my e-class page. And students are able to gain access to my Google Classroom by clicking here, by coming to from the landing page. To my page and as you can see i have a little obsession with tacos <laughs> uh, so again i really truly utilize my e-class or excuse me google classroom a lot more than my e-class or d2l mainly because it's easier for me to gain access assign assignments grade interact with the students and all that so this right here is my little google classroom it's very interactive they can click on here to get to iReady easily they can click um, on down here to get to the Google Classroom, get to Epic, things like that. And I kind of put my touch by putting my little Bitmoji and my, my two babies right there. When they log into my eClass, this is typically what they see. They have the assignments. Majority of the time I'll put math, informative, right, or excuse me, math, writing, grammar, stuff like that. That would all be here. And that's how students are able to access that. So the way that the learners receive feedback, like I said, doing Google Classroom is a lot easier and putting feedback in and kind of commenting. So we were doing a math lesson on my, excuse me, Google Classroom. And so we were doing perimeter. And this student right here is actually very new. She's never been in a classroom before. And she kind of struggles with area and perimeter. So I kind of put that comment that this was a tricky one. And I would help her out. A lot of her uh, answers were blank because she was just kind of confused. And we were just kind of out of time. And for this one, uh, this student had everything correct because we were looking at our area. And he was able to multiply the numbers to get his answer. So the way that my students are able to access the resources, like I said, they can go to Google Classroom, my Google Classroom here, they can go onto the landing page. And on my eClass or D2L, they also have the tiles right here, which is how they can gain access to iExcel, Raz Kids, Teach My Monster, all those fun things. But my majority of my students have it kind of bookmarked on their computers. The way my students interact with others, these are from previous assignments. So they used Poplet to speak with each other. They've used Padlet to speak with each other. They've also comment used the comment section on Google Documents. Thank you.